what i have found in my practice of astrology is that astrologers know very little about the signification of planets this is something that stops them from making better predictions and better analysis of horoscope because astrology see reading a birth chart is quite an easy task you know how to find planets in houses planets who are respecting the houses planets who are connected with house lords then you will have to take the signification of the planets to make predictions now here at this point of time at at this point of analysis if someone does not know much about the planetary significations then you say either they cannot predict some major things which limits their skill of astrology or with improper knowledge of basic significations of planets one can miss predicting few important things also right so to understand a planet deeply to know all the facets of a planet is very important and this is what we are going to do today we will understand about the planet sun and how it works and how it behaves in astrology particularly vedic astrology that i practice so first of all you should understand that sun is the significator of soul now significator of soul that means if sun is powerful one listens to their soul one have this internal thing you know what you call a soul that my soul is not allowing me to do that right this particular tendency is there only in the people who have a strong sun if there is a weak sun or if there is an afflicted sun then people can be very contradictory because they don't have this particular sense of that you know i should not harm people or i should not do very bad to people so this particular demarcation that other person is also a living being can be lost when the sun is not good sun is not well fortified so with respect to significations you say if someone is having a negative sun influencing their seventh house then they can be cruel towards their life partner this signification is also given to sun that sun is a cruel planet so if sun is negatively connected to the seventh house one can be cruel towards their life partner not recognizing that the life partner is also a human with a soul right so this way the interpretation of soul should be done and apart from that soul also talks about spirituality and other things right that we practice right the focus that if we are human we should do something for the upliftment of soul this particular thinking will only come when the sun is good in the horoscope right so sun gives us spirituality also and this particular tendency of you know being careful about people not hurting someone too much is also indicated by sun because you see sun is also a king so king the prime duty of the king is to punish people who go against the law but he will also have to keep in mind not to let his personal prejudices come into the way right so this particular behavior in person this particular tendency in person that we have to give the punishment or reward to the person without including our personal prejudice into it is something that comes from sun and is something that only sun can give right so a strong sun is needed for this particular thing now apart from that sun also indicates king now this particular thing is there this is regarding profession right if sun is connected to professional factors 10th house 10th lord i believe that professional factors you know which factors indicate profession well so if sun is connected to professional factors because sun is a king it indicates person will be kingly in their profession right the thing is if sun is powerful one will be kingly in their life as in people around them will listen to them will follow them they will be authoritative and when the sun is connected to professional factors it indicates that the person will be at a ruling position so the person can be a businessman ruling over many employees or person can be working directly with government right that is a particular that is another particular thing that have to be understood now you know sun is also called as tapan tapan means tapan is heating tapan is burning and sun signifies internal burning internal chaos right this is what the ascetics do in order to perfect themselves 
So this is indicated by sun that whichever house sun is situated in, whichever house sun is influencing, whichever house lord sun is connected with, you will have to go through inner repentance. You will have to go through asceticism, sacrificing yourself for the welfare of others in the area signified by those houses. Only then you will be able to enjoy the fullest result of that particular house, whichever sun is connected to. Otherwise, these results, the positive results of the house may not come to pass, right? So sun also indicates that there will be there will be a lot of personal repentance, personal remorse in order to get the lesson of life from that particular house in order to achieve the maturity related to the house which is connected to sun, right? One more thing is there that sun as a planet because it is called Dinakrit, right? Sun is the one who makes the day, right? So you see the rise of the person, stability in life or, you know, like when people start taking you as a successful person, you only become successful after you have activated the house where the sun is connected to. For example, you say when sun is connected to ninth house, one is considered worthy in the society and by the family members only after they have been fortunate or after the father have gone, things like that, right? So whatever is signified by different houses, as per the placement of sun in different houses, it will indicate that after going through what your authority will be accepted by people. Right? This particular thing is also there. Apart from that sun, sun is told to be red, dark brown, dark red or blood red of color. So this color basically indicates that if you want to strengthen sun, then red, dark brown, dark red or blood red colored clothes you should wear. Anything that is of this color is signified by sun. So if you are going to purchase a vehicle and you want to strengthen sun, then it should be a red colored vehicle and these colored vehicles, right? all these variations come under the category of sun. Why you will want to purchase a see if sun is giving you a vehicle, it will naturally give you a vehicle of that this color. But this is a particular place where we can exercise a little bit of our free will also. If you see that a powerful or a strong sun is connected with your fourth house and you want to activate it by the free will of choosing the color of your vehicle, then if you choose these colors, sun will be activated and the influence of sun on the Fourth house will be activated. Apart from that, we can we should also see say fourth house is the house of vehicle. And in and if someone purchases a vehicle while sun is situated in the ninth or eighth house or third house, which is respectively sixth, eighth, and twelfth house from the fourth house, and if one purchases a red colored vehicle, it will it will not be very good for the native. As in because fourth house also indicates happiness and comfort, the vehicle will often give tension and discomfort to the native. This is the first thing. Secondarily, whatever things are indicated by sun that will also be activated after the purchase of this particular vehicle. Right. So this way it have to be understood. Now for the offerings purpose, if someone want to worship sun or if someone want to please sun or if someone wants to do a remedy of sun, then one should use copper colored or red colored things. Offering red colored flowers to sun god or any god is a remedy for sun. Right. Donating things of red color, copper, I told, you know, copper red. So offering, gifting utensils and other things made up of copper to people, anyone needy or even gifting it to your friends and relatives is a very good remedy for sun. So the knowledge of significations of planets are also important for this purpose because they can be used for multiple things, right? From predictions to giving remedies, they are very, very essential. And only after you give remedies according to the significations of the planet, the success of the remedy will be there, otherwise not. Even a normal mantra chanting remedy, according to my experience, should be modified as per the significations of the planet for it to become really very effective. That is a particular thing is there. 
to please the sun god one should either worship agni now agni god is not worshiped separately so one can do a fire sacrifice homa or one can worship the deity rudra rudra gayatri rudra chamkam can be done this will please the sun god direction related to the sun is east so if you want to do remedy related to sun or if you have an afflicted sun in your horoscope then what you can do is you can try keeping the eastern house of your home clean tidy that will strengthen the sun if someone is having a very powerful sun in their horoscope or sun connected to the fourth if someone is having sun connected to the fourth house then they will see that they spend more time in the eastern side of their home their home is east facing or the road in front of their home is east to west going in which in the eastern side there should be a major there should be a major junction in the eastern side it should be meeting with the main road or a bigger road right this thing have to be there most importantly the directions related to planets are important in this particular regard that if you work facing the direction signified by a good planet in your horoscope if you travel in the direction signified by a strong planet in your horoscope then it is a better proposition in which you will gain more right so for sun it is eastern direction that you should use in facing you should live in an eastern east facing home right your office should be east facing from your home if your office is in the eastern direction then it will activate the significations of sun right so the choice of signification should be done accordingly as per the planets to get the best result now talking of nature sun is a malefic planet in fact sun is an extremely malefic planet and malefic planets what do they generally do that whatever houses and other planets they are connected with they give bad result with respect to the houses they are connected with and they afflict the other planets that they are connected with right so sun if it is connected with any house bad results related to that house is generally faced and to eradicate that bad result the remedies that i have just told and a few other remedies that i will also tell in the video should be done and if sun is there with any planet because sun is extremely malefic that planet should be considered afflicted and whatever are the significations of that planet one will face difficulty realizing and enjoying the significations of the planet that the sun is connected right talking of gender sun indicates a male gender so when it is connected to fifth house and other factors indicating child birth it indicates a male child when it is connected to third house and other factors indicating siblings it generally indicates a male sibling sun connected to the ascendant says that the person is very male so the male tendencies of authority the male tendencies of aggression and these things will be very prominent in the nature of the person if the sun is connected to the ascendant right sun is kshatriya by caste and kshatriya you know is a warrior class whose duty is to protect preserve and take care of things so when sun is connected to wealth factors or when sun is connected to profession factors it is better if someone works in a kshatriya department works towards protecting and preserving things a strong sun will also indicate that one is very protective and preserving towards their family members right this will indicate the nature of the person as well and whichever house sun is connected with whichever planet sun is connected with because sun is kshatriya and kshatriya indicates protection and preservation one will be very touchy regarding those areas of his life and he will not want others interfering in these areas because sun is kshatriya and he will always want to save and protect things in qualities sun indicates a sattu guna sattu guna is purity sattu guna is basically you know worshiping gods and brahmins and respecting people and these good qualities comes from sattu guna so sun is sattu guna means if sun is powerful the person is also satvik so satvik means they maintain a good lifestyle they go to temple they pursue spirituality they have guru and they live a pure life they live a life of purity they believe in purity of thoughts and purity of actions when the sun is powerful on the other hand when the sun is afflicted in that scenario sattva will be less in the person so either the person will be very passionate that is coming from rajas or the person can be very lazy and ignorant which comes from tamas right so this is something that have to be understood now apart from that what what the sun looks like 
Now the looks of the planet are to be used to predict about the native. You have to take the most powerful planet situated in the Kendras, one, four, seven, ten houses of the horoscope that generally talks about the looks of the person. If there is no powerful planet in the Kendra of the horoscope, then you have to see the overall, then you have to see the Navamsh Lagana Lord or the Navamsh Lord of Moon. In Navamsh Lagana Lord and the Navamsh Lord of Moon, you have to find which one is more powerful and the result according to the most powerful planet will be there. However, what I have seen that if more than one strong planets influence the ascendant and moon in Navamsh and the ascendant of the Navamsh Lagana, then the person is generally a mixture of all of these qualities. Apart from that, with respect to spouse, children and sibling and mother and father and other relatives also. Whenever it comes about the description of beings, description of humans around you, you have, if son is connected to, you say seventh house, the wife is like son. If son is connected to fourth house, the mother is like son. If son is connected to fifth house, the children is like son. If son is connected to third house, the siblings are like the son. Right. If son is connected to ninth house, the father is like the son. Now, in this particular case, one may ask that if son is connected to seventh house, sir, all the life partners will be like son only. So more or less, all of them will have the same qualities because see, if there is more than one planet connected to seventh house, one is having multiple marriages, then the most powerful planet will give result in the first marriage, second most powerful planet give result in the second marriage and so on. But if there is only one planet connected to the seventh house, which if there is only one planet connected to the seventh house in that particular scenario, all the life partners have more or less the same trait. So in case of multiplicity of results, multiple children, multiple siblings, multiple partners, one will have to see the most powerful planet giving result first, the second most powerful planet giving result after that accordingly. So sun in description is told to have yellow eyes. That means to say the eyes are not white, like, you know, normal, like normally it is either yellow or honey colored, right? So this also indicates some problems related to sleep, right? It indicates, sun indicates a squarish body, right? So the person is not very tall, right? And he have fat according to his height. Because of that, the person looks square, squarish. The face is also squarish. The person is having bilious tendency. Bilious tendency, the tendency of bile means the person can have boils and pimples. Person will like to eat hot food. Person will like to do things quickly. They will not like to sit idle. They will always want to get, you know, they will always want to keep doing something. Otherwise, they will get frustrated or angry. Sun indicates hair fall related problems, specifically on head. For male, it will indicate very little hair. It indicates untimely baldness. For women who generally don't go bald, it indicates few hair, sparse hair. Apart from that, it also indicates curly hair. Specifically in children, a children signified by sun will generally have a curly, curly hair in childhood. It indicates a sharp mind and a very prominent appearance. Very prominent appearance as in if you click a group, group photo, this person stands out because of their appearance. The person also have a very majestic voice. The person is not very tall, as I told before, but the person is very courageous. The person is steady and firm in whatever they are doing and they don't like to be disturbed as such. Right? Their complexion is somehow darker. Right? Wheatish complexion, you should say, it is not completely black. The person is not completely white also. So wheatish complexion, the person is having generally. The feet are long. The bones are powerful. The bones are strong. Person have good calcium. The luster, the influence of the person is as such that people cannot, you know, talk to him or like talking in a negative sense, debate with him for long. People will either start fighting or eventually give up because the person is majestic, right? Generally, a strong Saturn, a strong sun will indicate that the person likes to wear saffron or orange colored clothes very often. Sun indicates a very energetic person who have bright eyes, right? So the eyes are bright, 
right and the person is good to look at it indic in females it indicates beautiful female in males it does not indicate a very beautiful male as such but the person appearance wise is good the person also have a lot of good qualities the person is very valorous but wrathful at the same point of time it is not only short tempered wrathful means the person is dominated by the feeling of revenge this is also kshatriya quality so sun person is dominated by the quality of revenge right apart from that sun also indicate very long arms generally people have arm up to their uh, waist only but this person will have a, when they are standing like when they are standing upright with their hands down the hands will be longer than the waist generally right it it indicates sun also indicates that the person always you know want to do something cannot sit idle as such sun also indicates someone who will want to use least words to convey whatever they want to say and will not like to repeat things and will generally get very irritated and very pissed off if they are you know told to repeat what they have said right sun is also very miser does not want to give a lot to people or others right the person have a divine orientation is given to spirituality worshiping gods and all of these things right specifically his intelligence his thinking is very much considerate about others and spirituality and all of these things also the person will have a very clean and pure habits any bad things such as you know talking behind people's back etc they will not want to engage in and the person will be very intelligent also the most prominent users of this is in finding the significations and the qualities of the life partner and other relatives as i told you so we talked that sun indicates a strong bones right sun will give you a strong bones because sun indicate bones and the body part of the planet is used if sun is powerful bones will be powerful if sun is weak bones will be weak so whenever you see that there is a weak sun in the horoscope bone strength should be taken care of one should consume more calcium and all of these things and when the sun is afflicted then whoever planet is afflicting the sun because sun is indicating bones and other planets afflicting sun in the dasha antardasha of that planet problems related to bones breaking of bones etc can come regarding health issues i have seen that generally the dasha of the inimical planet produces diseases related to the planet he is inimical to so saturn is very much inimical to sun venus is very much inimical to sun right so in the dasha antardasha of saturn venus bone related problems can also happen because bone is indicated by sun in places sun indicates temple and sacred places so you see where you will meet your life partner suppose the meeting place of the life partner is signified by the sign where the seventh lord is situated in so if the seventh lord is situated in the sign of sun leo one will meet their life partner is temple and sacred places if you want to know what will be nearby your office you will have to see the rashi where the 10th lord is situated in that will indicate what is the prominent thing near your office so if the 10th lord is in sun temple or some sacred place should be near your office right this is the predictive part apart from that i already told you that red thing orange things copper is to be donated for sun where you will donate it for sun you will donate it in temple in vastu also if you want to remedy sun if you want to strengthen sun first of all you should have a temple in your home secondarily you should worship daily right visiting the temple daily should also be done many people believe that temple is indicated by jupiter which is not true temple is indicated by sun so daily visiting temple is a good remedy for sun keeping a temple in your home keeping the temple clean worshiping daily is also a good remedy for sun and regarding predictions if the seventh lord is or venus is going into the rashi of sun then one is supposed to meet their life partner in a temple or a sacred place or nearby in clothes sun indicates coarse cloth made up of thick threads right generally of saffron color so if one wants to donate clothes for sun these type of clothes should be donated for sun like we wear gemstones for planet in the same manner the 
clothes of the planet should also be can also be worn so these type of clothes if you wear it will activate your sun for example you say sun is situated in 10th house and you are going to give an interview or you are going to do something where you want success to come to you then if you wear such clothes and go there success will surely come to you in metals sun indicate copper so donation of copper wearing copper is again a very good remedy for sun in season sun indicate the month from 15th of may to 15th of july in timing events i always teach my students that you should see the d3 rashi of any planet if you want to time when you will get married you should see the d3 rashi of the seventh lord and venus if seventh lord or venus is situated in leo rashi in d3 then you will get married in the months of sun between 15th of may to 15th of july this principle you check in any horoscope it always works right if it is not working in any horoscope that you have tested you don't know how to apply it you have not listened to the video carefully listen again it always works 100% sun aspects on the seventh house from where he is situated in right in prashna in prashna if you see sun signifying the event it will give the result or fructification of prashna whether positive or negative in 6 months in prashna related to having food sun generally indicates one have eaten sharp food with pungent taste if sun is connected to second house or if sun is connected to second house or fifth house one will like to eat sharp and pungent food whereas if sun is connected to sixth eighth or twelfth house then eating sharp and pungent tasting food is problematic for the native can give result to health problems right so this is something that you have to keep in mind regarding friendship and enmity of planets sun is very friendly to sun sorry sun is very friendly to jupiter normally friendly to moon and mars neutral to mercury and very inimical to saturn venus and so this you have to keep in mind and because a planet situated with his friend is supported and supports his friend also so you say sun indicates authority sun indicates authority and power so if sun is situated with a friendly planet if sun is situated with jupiter if sun is situated with mars or moon sun is very friendly to jupiter normal friendly to mars and very less friendly to moon is what i have seen in my experience right so if sun is situated with friendly planet it is very easy to get a name fame power status right This is the first thing, and friends support each other in their dasha and their dasha. So when sun is connected to his friend, the result of sun is not only found in the dasha and their dasha of sun, but in the dasha and their dasha of his friend also. Right? When sun is transiting, when sun is in between the rashis Capricorn up to Gemini, sun in the rashi Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, this is when the sun is powerful. this power of sun leads to fulfillment of wishes and desires so if sun is in these rashis of your horoscope then see whichever house is ruled by sun the wishes and desires related to those houses will be fulfilled for you for you for sure right so this is also there this this is also this is also there this also should be used in predictions sun is powerful in daytime so you say if sun is indicating spouse in your horoscope then you will meet your spouse in daytime right they will come to you in daytime the first conversation the first meeting will happen in daytime and whatever result is signified by sun they generally that results generally happen in daytime only in those horoscopes it, it is told that sun takes out afflictions of all the planets so those horoscopes who have a very strong sun it is told that their success is almost guaranteed because a powerful sun can take over the bad results bad results or weak results of all the other planets right so those who are having a very strong sun are quite fortunate and until and unless this sun is either otherwise weak or with afflicted or with enemies only right a powerful sun without influenced by enemies or without being afflicted make sure that the person is successful and other bad results that are signified by planets in horoscope are taken care of for example you say suppose there is a venus saturn combination 
So Venus Saturn combination is a good combination, but Venus being the significator of spouse and Saturn being a significator for misery, there can be misery because of spouse, there can be misery to spouse. Right now, if the sun is weak, then in that particular scenario, there will be misery from spouse. Whereas if the sun is powerful, one can cause misery to the spouse. Right. So sun can take affliction. Sun can take away afflictions of all the other planets and the prime uses of it is that if the sun is powerful, then generally the bad combinations indicated in the horoscope happens with other people in the family rather than happening with the native. So this is something that this is a type of blessings, blessing which come with the strength of sun only, right? In worlds, sun generally indicate earth. This is done as per the Navamsh indicated by the most powerful planet situated in the 6th, 7th or 8th house. So if the most powerful planet situated, if the most powerful planet who is situated in 6th, 7th and 8th house goes to the D3 Rashi of Sun, then it indicates that after the death one will be born again in this earth. Right. Based on the stronger between sun and moon, their D3 also you should see. If the stronger between sun and moon is going into the D3 of sun, then it indicates that before this birth also one was born in this earth only. So this life is a consecutive rebirth of the native. Consecutive rebirth because, the, because this is a consecutive rebirth and the person was also on earth before this particular life, it indicates that the person is very desirous. Right? And because... Uh, Human birth just after another human birth is given because of a high desire only. So this person will be very desirous and as they progress in life, they will find that they are attached to many things and they have high aspirations. Right. And there are many things which they want to get under all cost. And this is what is indicated by this particular trait. The sun is powerful between 0 to 10 degrees of any Rashi. Right. So in all the strength factors, I am constantly saying you that if sun is powerful, if sun is powerful, I will, I'm also mentioning the conditions which make the planet powerful, right? So as per these conditions, if the planet is powerful, then he should be considered powerful and the results should be told. So if sun is between zero to 10 degree of any Rashi, then sun is considered powerful. And this power is specifically very important with respect to giving result of that Rashi. For example, you say sun is situated in say Cancer along with you see Venus. So Sun is situated in Cancer, Venus is situated in Cancer and this Cancer is supposed the fourth house. So it indicates home now which planet will give home primarily whether it will be the Sun or it will be the Venus. To decide between that you will have to use this principle keeping in mind that if Sun is between 0 to 10 degrees then, sun, then the home will be given by Sun otherwise not. Right? Apart from that, Sun is also powerful in a male Rashi. In odd Rashi, Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, Aquarius. In these six odd Rashi, Sun is powerful. So generally, when there is a comparison between influence over a house or influence over a planet, you say Sun from Aries and Venus from Aries are influencing the seventh house. Then who will give result related to seventh house more? Because Sun is a male planet situated in a male Rashi, the result of Sun will be more powerful as compared to the result of Venus. If someone is born in Krishna Paksh, then also Sun is very powerful. Right? In the second part of day, you say one hour before, one and a half hour before afternoon and one and a half hour after afternoon, then also Sun is powerful. Right? So if you are born in this point of day, your sun is powerful. Apart from that, if some events are indicated by sun, then they are very likely to happen at this point of time only. Many people often, you know, they ask me a question, sir, can accurate timing of events be done? Can we predict up to day when the event will be done? Hey, bhai, you can predict up to hours when the event will be done only if you use these things. Right. So specifically for sun, it is being told that sun it's powerful in day. In that specifically around midday sun is powerful. So suppose sun is a planet connected to the 10th house and the Dasha Antar Dasha is also supportive to sun. So sun is positively connected to the 10th house and 
the dasha antar dasha is either of the sun only or of the planet who is connected to sun see first sun is connected to the 10th house sun is indicating profession now other planets can also be connected to the 10th house 10th lord will also be there multiple other setup can happen so you will have to use the dasha also if the dasha is of sun only or if the dasha is of another planet who is friendly to sun or who is connected to sun anyhow in rashi navamsh right and one is good and one is getting a job from your analysis you have found it that this person is getting a job now he is getting a job because of sun that in the case sun is connected to 10th house and it is the dasha of sun only or sun is indicator of profession and it is the dasha of a planet who is connected to sun who is friendly to sun then sun is going to give a profession sun is going to give the profession now when the profession will be like you know when one will get the offer letter or when one will get a call from the office if you have to predict it you keep in mind that sun becomes powerful in the second part of the day second part of the day will roughly be one and a half hour before noon so one and a half hour after noon right when the sun is between 15 after 15 degree in the 9th house complete of 10th house and up to 15 degree of the 11th house it is when the sun is powerful right so if sun is indicating profession one will get offer letter one will get call from the office call from the boss call from the senior only at this point of time right this one have to understand using this only the accurate prediction of event even up to the moment can be done this is the great secret that i am letting out to be very honest with you right sun is an hind rising planet so if generally sun is indicating something it happens late in life for example if sun is connected to the fifth house where it is indicating childbirth being a hind rising planet it will indicate late childbirth sun is also told to be a bird so generally when sun is connected to the ascendant birds always fly so when sun is connected to ascendant or when sun is connected to 10th house one will have to travel a lot right because like birds have to fly generally these people can also work in those departments where they will have to constantly travel visit different countries go to different places like a bird like a bird do also one more thing is there generally what is seen with birds is that they take food in their right they take food with them and give it to their children so a very prominent sun or a sun connected to fourth house which indicates home indicates that this person will have to earn for their complete family in other words you should say that almost all family members or maximum of the family members will be dependent on the native right the native will have to take care not only of himself but of his complete family not only normal family extended family also if right if i have to say very openly in places sun also indicate mountains and forests i also told you before that sun indicates temples apart from that sun also indicate mountains and forest right so when it comes to timing when it comes to predicting things for example seventh lord is going into the rashi of sun where you are supposed to meet your life partner you are supposed to meet your life partner in a temple or over a mountain or near a forest if sun is giving you a home then that home he will also give either near a sacred place near a temple or near mountains or in forests right sun generally indicates 50 years of age so all the result of sun happen by 50 years of the age of native this age is generally used in prashna right as per the planet influencing the house for example one asks a prashna related to marriage and you see that sun is connected to the 7th house then because of the help of a person around 50 years of age the marriage will happen the marriage will take place sun also indicate minerals and roots right so the best remedy for sun will be wearing of mineral right copper that i have told for sun apart from that because sun indicates root right taking care of plants indicated by sun is also a good remedy for sun this is a uses in natal astrology apart from that in prashna suppose 
sun is connected to 11th house, you will say that there will be a gain related to, suppose any planet is situated in the 11th house, say Venus is in the 11th house. Now you will say that there is gain related to Venus, but what is this gain? This is gain of wife. This is gain of good clothes. This is gain of vehicle. This is gain of home. What type of gain it is? So if this Venus is in the Rashi of sun, sun indicating minerals and sun indicating roots, because of minerals, it will be gain of minerals related to Venus. So profession related to Venus, metal related to Venus, wealth related to Venus will be there. Right? Root related to Venus will be emotions related to Venus, right? So it can be gain of relationship rather than being a gain of marriage. This way, this is used. In gemstones, sun rules ruby for sun. Wearing ruby, donating ruby is a good remedy. Sun looks upwards. This means to say if, that if sun is connected to the second house, that generally one person will have a tendency to generally look upwards. That's this particular thing is there. And this upward tendency, I, al I also take as, you see, aspect of planet we have already talked about. Sun has only seventh aspect. Now suppose sun is situated in the ascendant. So sun will be expecting 7th house and in 7th house, three planets are situated there. Moon is situated between 0 degree to 10 degree. Right. Mars is situated between 10 degree to 20 degree and Mer and uh, this uh, Jupiter is situated between 20 degree to 30 degree. Not talking of upwards, Rashis are also head rising and hind rising. Right. So for head rising sign, 0 degree is the upward. For hind rising sign, 30 degrees the upward, right? Head rising sign is rising by the zero degree itself. Whereas the hind rising Rashi is rising by 29 degree. So suppose sun is in the ascendant in Aries in the seventh house in Libra, there is moon, Mars and Jupiter in the particular setup that I have told you. Now Libra is a head rising Rashi. So planet between zero degree to 10 degree, that is moon. This moon is in the upward part. And because sun is in the ascendant, we'll be expecting 7th house with his upward aspect, the influence of the aspect of sun will be over Mars, Jupiter and Mercury, Mars, Jupiter and moon, all three. But in that the influence over moon will be the strongest. That means to say out of children signified by Jupiter, out of siblings signified by Mars and out of mother signified by moon, maximum traits of sun will come to the mother of moon. If you stand, if you talk to the child and the sibling and the mother of the native, you will find that mother is more authoritative or influential in the life of the native, right? This is how it should be understood. Apart from that, man is, apart from that, sun is also a steadfast planet. Sun indicates, sun signifies the self, how one treats self, how, what is one's concept of self, that is indicated by sun and because sun indicates the self, the tendency of self-harming is also indicated by sun. Father is indicated by sun, influence is indicated by sun, health is indicated by sun, vigor, vitality is indicated by sun, good health is indicated by sun, fortune is indicated by sun, self-esteem is indicated by sun, gold, copper is indicated by sun, anything that is considered auspicious in the society is indicated by the sun, self-happiness is indicated by the sun, power Courage, victory in war is indicated by sun. Now, because victory in war is indicated by sun and war is also war and fights are also indicated by the sixth house, it is told that sun in the sixth house will give victory in fights always. Right? So the result of planet in houses and result of planet in Rashis are also made according to the significations as well. This is a particular thing. 80% of the time, people say that we know astrology. You ask them result of planet and houses, they may say you ask them result of planet and rashes, they cannot. What type of astrology? You know, you don't know astrology. Remembering the result of planets and rashes is not enough, right? These remembrance result does not matter, does not match, does not matter in actual prediction, in actual practice. What what it works, how how to do it? You take the signification of the rashi, you take the signification of the planet, common significations will be promoted, right? Like I gave you an example for the sixth house, sun gives victory in war. Sixth house indicate wars and fights. So if sun is connected to sixth house in 
wars and fights one is always victorious so generally in life in wars and fights the one is very victorious in the dasha antar dasha of sun but is specifically when especially victorious in wars and fights right working under the government is indicated by sun glory name fame prestige is indicated by sun anything related to lord shiva going to the temple of lord shiva worshiping lord shiva rudra is also indicated by sun having a trip to mountain or forest region is also indicated by sun taking active parts in homas and yagya is also indicated by sun i told you before that sun indicates fire element right sorry sun indicates fire sun indicates agni god fire element sun does not indicate element at, as a sun is a element in itself right so because sun indicates agni god agni god you cannot directly worship you can do homa you can do fire sacrifice and if you do that you strengthen your sun because it is indicated by sun when you do things that are signified by sun you strengthen the sun in the same way like you wear gemstone related to the planet you strengthen the planet right temples are indicated by sun acuteness is indicated by sun enthusiasm is also indicated by sun so these significations have to be for example if you want to know if someone is enthusiastic or not you will have to see sun in their horoscope if the sun is afflicted or weak one is not enthusiastic at all if sun is very powerful very prominent one is very enthusiastic on the other hand if you cast a prashna chart and if you see there is, if you see that there is an afflicted sun then you should know that the person whoever is asking the prashna is not very enthusiastic regarding the thing to happen right ignorance can be there sun is the significator of first ninth and 10th house right this you have to understand sun will be powerful when he is exalted up to 10 degrees of aries when he is in his own house leo in that specifically between 0 to 20 degree he will in multrikon also in his own dreshkan leo sun is powerful in his own leo hora sun is powerful on sunday sun is powerful in his own navamsh also sun is powerful i told you before that when sun is between capricorn aquarius pisces aries taurus and gemini then also sun is powerful in afternoon sun is powerful while entering a sign up to 0 degrees to 10 degrees sun is powerful in the 10th house sun gets digbali in the 10th house also sun is powerful if the sun is afflicted then mental incompetence mental tensions because of government and people related to government mental tension because of people who represent religion right headache fever problems related to eating and digestion is generally the result if sun is afflicted or if sun is malefic these results should also be used to you know observe your life for example if someone is constantly having headache very frequently in the last one month or last 3 4 months then they should understand that sun is signaling them that the result of sun is getting afflicted that the sun is getting bad because of something that they are doing it is a time when you should reflect and correct whatever bad you may be doing related to sun right so this is something you have to keep in mind regarding places the temples of shiva open area open places with light or reasons which are destitute of water right hilly places etc these are indicated by sun and as i told you as per the rashi occupied by the house lords where you will meet that particular person or where that particular thing will be there for example rashi occupied by the seventh lord indicates where you will meet your life partner should be predicted people who worship shiva shiva shivaji physicians doctors kings people who perform fire sacrifice ministers tiger deer these peoples and animals are signified by sun so when you want to do a remedy related to sun for example donating something if you do the remedy at these places and give things to these people then it will be a strong then it will be a powerful remedy though i told you that sun indicates father but apparently it looks like that only for the people born in day time sun indicates father for people born in night time sun indicates relatives of father paternal uncles and aunts and not father himself for day birth then saturn indicates the father apart from that sun also indicates the right eye and when sun is afflicted generally problems related to right eye can also happen in grains sun indicate wheat so if sun is connected to 
second house or fourth house eating more of wheat will strengthen the sun donation of wheat will also strengthen the sun for those who are having a very powerful sun they will generally have a birthmark in their right hip regarding trees sun generally indicate strong and tall trees i told you before that sun a good remedy for sun will be taking care of trees related to sun so inwardly strong and tall such as people tree burgad tree these tree if you plant these trees water these trees or go near these trees very often or if you use wood of these trees in your home it will be strengthening your sun right so this is something that you should do for sun right these are all the significations of sun in a nutshell that i told you only for this particular purpose so that you can use them in your analysis and can make better analysis because whether it be a natal horoscope or whether it be a prashna chart i have seen that generally people cannot make predictions or generally their predictions go wrong because they don't know significations properly for example if someone takes jupiter to signify the temple and do not know that sun is signifying the temple then if the 10th if the 7th lord is situated in the rashi of jupiter one can say that you will meet your life partner in a temple which will not be true resulting in a wrong prediction that is problem if someone if someone does not know the places indicated by planets and how to use the places indicated by planets then one cannot predict where you will meet your life partner this will make you know not a very good predictions as such so wrong predictions or you say wrong predictions or non detailed predictions are a result when you don't know much about the significations of planets so to improve that i have told you this particular thing and for normal people because you see talking of remedies see completely changing the fate is certainly not possible right if a disease is there disease is there but the pain can be you know pain can be increased or decreased right this can be done so changing the fate it is possible or not i have made a video over it i have discussed about it here fate versus free will i think two three videos i have talked about it that you can see but apart from that if talking of remedies for sun multiple remedies are told you know multiple things are there but only when you do remedies based on the signification of the planet i have found it to be very very effective right recently i was experimenting related to something and to few people i gave some you know i i gave remedy related to weight loss and the client generally i have repeated to client so the client was telling me that you predicted weight loss that weight loss happened subham ji right so what i have found that you know in order to make the remedy more effective you know when you call out the remedy from the natural signification of planets and then give the remedy to the native then generally these remedies are more impactful more powerful so first and foremost if you are doing remedy for a planet but not doing any remedy which activates the signification of planet then it is not going to work planetary signification based remedy at the first place how to get a good job how to have good time in your job how to be authoritative in job no matter what remedies you do it is not going to work until and unless you activate the planet who is positively connected to your 10th house only when you activate the planet who is positively connected to your 10th house through the signification of the planet as i have mentioned for sun in this particular video only then it will ensure that your professional life is good right you enjoy your professional life there is name fame status and all of these things are there only when you do this that is the first thing secondarily suppose you are doing some mantra chanting or you are doing some remedy how to make sure that this remedy impacts the right planet that you are wanting to you know like pacify with this remedy or on on, on the planet you are wanting the remedy to work so for say if you are visiting temple to remedy a planet now if you want to remedy sun you have to visit the temple of shiva you have to visit temple where daily fire sacrifice or you know fire sacrifice on a regular interval takes place only then the remedy will be effective 
otherwise generally when you do remedies without including the astrological factors in the remedy then if the remedy is like you know if the remedy is like some ineffective remedies are also there now you throw some uh, silver coins into the river and then it will do something something these are the useless remedies right but these can also work when they are positively impacting the signification of planet if they are not positively impacting the signification of planet then these remedies are useless right so to make sure that the remedy you are doing will work you will have to keep the signification of planets in mind and secondarily if you are visiting temple or if you you are doing a homa for sun or if you are doing homa for a planet suppose suppose sun is indicated sun is situated in your second house you want wealth for that you are doing homa for goddess lakshmi now to make the homa more effective you can use things related to sun say after the homa you can donate copper vessels to the temple where you have done the homa it will make sure that the remedy is more effective it works more quickly so for normal person the significations of the planet works a great deal to activate the planet by going to the direction of by going to the places of sun you can strengthen your sun you can make your sun powerful and apart from that using the significations of sun you can also remedy the sun which will be very helpful for you keeping that in mind i have shared all of this so first thing that you should do is take note remember these things and whenever you read horoscope and suggest things to people use it to the best the right? best put it to the best use use it according to the best of your retention power that you have gained from retention power retention of the knowledge that you have gained from this video right